Now, do you have any, or did you have any little mental tricks that you had in terms of, you know, before going into a very high level game or going up against guys who are a lot bigger than you? Because I know for boxers, you know, before they go into a fight against somebody who's much larger, they'll tell themselves that they're oftentimes the same size or that they're bigger than their opponent. Did you ever do similar things in your own mind before those sorts of moments? No, not me, you know, because for me, everybody was taller than me. (laughs) It had been a a stressful day-to-day thing to have to continue to keep telling yourself. But for me, it was more or less me understanding who I was and knowing what my skill set was and what I brought to the table, knowing that how to play against taller players and, uh, and how to navigate through them and how to be successful against them. So that was more or less my thinking and my, my mindset in terms of, you know, if I have if I play against the best, I've had success against the best, now I need to be included with the best. You know, so no matter how tall or short fat you were, that was just my mindset. And, you know, it was always came down for the skill set. You know, we all could be tall and wide and slow and fast, but it always comes down with your knowledge and information and what that skill set provides once you get between those lines. And then that's how I adjust it. And speaking of that, you had one of the highest assist to turnover ratios in the history of the NBA. So obviously the, the knowledge was there. How much of the game do you think, especially in the 90s, was mental versus physical? I love asking guys who played in, you know, multiple decades that question. Well, that's in, I mean, no regardless, no one is going to be immune to that if you're an athlete. You know, that just comes with the territory. You know, it's, it's going to be 60-40. You know, the, the mental part of it is always going to be the part where you got to focus and understand that this is a big part of the game. The 60 part of it, of course, your athletic ability, your, your skill set, you know, got to be in tip-top shape. But that 40% of understanding how to get there and how to stay there and how to overcome and persevere, that's, that's more mental. And that's more because that's being challenged more so than the aspect of the, more so than the physical aspects of your body because you're capable of controlling that part because, you, but it's all about the mental aspect, being, staying in the moment, staying, you know, ready uh, and being able to deliver, you know, whatever that case may be, being able to deliver, that's always the bottom line and always the outcome of it. And that's how you get to become stars and superstars because of that factor. You know, those are the ones that separate themselves during those particular moments. And, you know, you're able to, you know, persevere. Totally. Now, very specific question. Was it easier or more difficult to steal the ball from somebody that is taller or shorter? Which is easier to, to get you know, out of their eyesight, get around them? What, did it benefit you? Did you want a player to be taller when you're guarding them to be able to steal it? Or what, what was the situation there? Well, it, it didn't matter if you was tall or short. It's all based on how you... So basically, you was asking me about how do I steal the ball from, does it matter uh, if you're tall or, or shorter? Is it easier to steal it from a center than a point guard for you? Well, it, it, no, well, it doesn't matter for me because it depends on you, the way you dribble the ball. It makes sense if you're much taller than the course because you're going to have a high dribble the ball, got to come down a lot further. And it's much easier in that regard, yes. I should say yes. But if you're a small guy and still dribble the ball high, you know, that feeds right into me as well, because, you know, if it ain't waist high now, I could possibly be able to get that. (laughs) 